Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. The holiday season is officially here. So today, instead of doing a quick tip, I thought we would have some fun and design this 8-bit Christmas tree star topper. Now, I've included a link below to the STL file and the reference image that you're gonna need to follow along. So uh, just click on that link and you'll be able to download it. All right, let's begin. We'll begin by bringing in an attached canvas, which is basically just a JPEG image that I created. Now, I left the link down below if you want to download that image and follow along with me. So let's start by going to insert down to attach canvas, and we're gonna get this dialog box for face. Let's select our XY plane. We'll click on select image, navigate to our image here. I'm gonna double click and click OK. You'll see that that image is brought in, so I'm gonna to go to a top-down view. And the first thing I need to do is calibrate this. So let's expand canvas here. We'll right-click on our image and go to calibrate. Now, I want each square to be 10 by 10 millimeters. I've got 16 of them going up, so I know that that's going to be 160 millimeters. So I'm gonna left-click here on this bottom corner, and then let's zoom out and go to this top corner here. I'm gonna click there. And for my distance here, I type what I want it to be, which is 160 millimeters, hit enter. And now it's calibrated. I'll just double click on my scroll wheel and everything is brought into view. Okay, now we can begin sketching. So I'll go to sketch, create sketch. I'm gonna sketch on my XY plane and I'm gonna start that sketch down here on this corner. So we'll begin with a, a two point rectangle. So we'll grab that. I'll just line that up right to this corner and we're gonna enter 10 by 10. So 10, tab 10, hit enter, and we have our rectangle. All right, now that we have that one rectangle, let's create uh, some uh, rectangular patterns. So we'll go to sketch, down to rectangular pattern. We'll get our dialog box. I want 16 of them up and 14 going across. So let's start here. The, um, well, for our objects, we're gonna just double click and it'll highlight that entire rectangle. We see four selected. Direction, let's go across first. So I'll bring this arrow across. Uh, quantity, I want 14 of those. And let's go to where it says distance type. I'm gonna choose spacing. And I want these to be 10 millimeters apart. So I'm gonna type 10 here. And you can see that that lines up uh, on that bottom row there. So now let's do the um, the rows going up. So what we'll do is now we're gonna work at the, in the bottom half here. Uh, quantity, I want 16. Uh, distance, I want 10. And that's all I need to do there. So now I've got 16 going up, 10 going across. You can see all my squares. I'm gonna click OK. Okay, now that we have all our squares, we're just going to uh, click on Stop Sketch. And now we just need to extrude these up. So we're gonna go to Create extrude. Let's go to a top down view and we're going to choose our paint selection here. And now we can just extrude, we can follow our image to extrude uh, the different squares. So I'm just going to do half of these and then mirror it just to make it faster. Okay, now that I've selected half, I'll type my distance here of 30 millimeters, click OK and I can see I have half the star extruded. Okay, I don't need to see that canvas anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it, and to mirror this, we'll go to Create, down to Mirror. Pattern type is gonna be Bodies, select this half. My mirror plane is gonna be this face here, and click OK. Now I have two different bodies here, so what I'm going to do is combine these by going to Modify, down to Combine, selecting both objects, and then clicking OK. And now I have my star. Okay, if you want to use this as an ornament, what you can easily do is just put a hole through here. But I'm going to use this as a tree topper, so I'm going to put a hole right down here. So let's create a sketch on this surface. And we're going to click on Splice, or Slice right here, so that I can see just that bottom surface. And let's create a circle here in the middle. So I'm gonna grab the line tool and we're gonna just draw a diagonal line here. And I'm gonna hit escape, select that line, make it a construction line. And then I'm gonna grab my circle tool, uh, center diameter circle and find that midpoint. You see that triangle pops up. 
I'm gonna make a circle of 10 millimeters here. Uh, hit enter twice, stop sketch, and now let's grab that circle and extrude it in. And I'm gonna extrude this to go uh, do an extrude cut, and I'm gonna do negative 20 millimeters and hit enter. I've got my hole there. Okay, I've got my star with a hole in there, and now what I wanna do is make that cone where it's gonna sit and be able to sit on top of the tree. So to do this, let's create another sketch and we'll choose the XY plane here uh, to sketch on. So we'll just sketch it somewhere here. I'm gonna hit C for circle and let's give this a base of 50 millimeters and hit enter, stop sketch. Let's now create an offset plane. So we'll go to uh, construct offset plane, select my circle. I'm gonna bring this up uh, 70 millimeters. So can drag that up or type that in, click OK, and let's create a sketch right on that new plane we just created. And I'm gonna create a circle right off of that center of my original circle and make this also 10 millimeters. Click Stop Sketch, and now we're gonna loft those two circles by going to Create, down to Loft, select both circles, and click OK. Next, I'm gonna go to Create, Extrude, select this top surface here and let's bring that up 20 millimeters. Okay, the idea is this cylinder has to fit inside this hole, but there's a problem. They both have a radius of five millimeters, so one is not going to fit inside the other. To fix that, I wanna make this a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna reference that sketch. I can see if I click it here, it highlights. So let's double click this sketch on our timeline and I'm gonna change this from being 10 uh, millimeters as the diameter to 10.5 hit enter that circle is just a little bit bigger now if I stop sketch I can see that that radius is now 5.25 so as long as that hole is a little bit bigger than this uh, cylinder here then we're good that'll fit fine uh, finally let's go ahead and shell this part out so we'll go to modify down to shell select that bottom surface I'm gonna give it a one millimeter shell and click OK and now we can see that that's shelled out so it's hollow on the inside and all right well i guess one final thing uh, just for fun let's give this some color i'll hit a for appearance um let's see we're gonna go to let me collapse these we'll go to plastic and go down to opaque make the star yellow and we'll make the uh, funnel here green and there we go this is all set to be 3d printed um, so let's take a look and see how that comes out I sliced this with Simplify 3D and then sent it to my Prusa i3 Mark II printer. Went with a yellow PLA for the star and for the cone. I used Polyalchemy's Elixir line, went with a green Elixir PLA. If you haven't checked it out, it's really good stuff. And as you can see there, a uh, nice fit between the cone and the star. All right, if you have any questions, just leave it on the comments below. Or if you'd just like to share your thoughts, I'm happy to read them as well. Don't forget that I've left a link to the STL file and the reference image uh, to make it easier for you to follow along. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And I'll be back next week with another video. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Take care.